The Kenya National Union of Teachers has instructed its welfare committee to investigate how teachers lost 2 billion shillings to a bank formerly associated with billionaire businessman Naushad Merali. Mwale Musako, which is affiliated to thousands of teachers across the country, bought a 75% stake in Equatorial Commercial Bank, which is now in trouble. So just who is this man, Merali? NTV Silas Apollo reports on the man who has been in the news in recent weeks for all the wrong reasons and how his latest deal could hit teachers hard. For a man who presides over Agobi, one of the largest business enterprises in the country, it is surprising just how little is known about Naushad Mirali, chairman of the Samir group of companies. Many believe that apart from being a go-getting entrepreneur, Merali has had close links with those in power, from President Daniel Moy to the elites and powerful in the Jubilee administration. One of his business empires, the Equatorial Commercial Bank, is at the center of a two billion shilling scandal invested by teachers. The teachers are said to have been enticed into buying a 75% stake in the bank, which has since rebranded to Spire Bank, but that dream may be far from a reality. The bank has remained in losses that have whittled down its book value to 551.6 million shillings as of September last year, placing the worth of the stake of Molimu Sako at a mere 413.7 million shillings. And this is not the first time that the name of the billionaire businessman is in the news. Merali is currently entangled in a 10 million shillings land deal where he is said to have been conned by people who mimicked President Uhuru Kenyatta. Merali also earned controversy after selling off his 5% stake in telecommunications company Airtel in 2014, earning him a record 738 million shillings in hours. Another of Merali's business empires, the Samia Business Park, located along Mombasa Road, has also been at the center of a land ownership dispute after the government in 2011 threatened to demolish it, saying it was built on a road reserve. The 68-year-old Mirali is understood to be an astute entrepreneur, endowed with grit and a gift of identifying profitable business opportunities. Any deficiencies of his character are simply compensated for through the recruitment of professional managers for his ventures. He thrust into national limelight and prominence way back in 1985. The Kenya National Union of Teachers Secretary General Wilson Socion now says that they have instructed the Welfare Committee to investigate the matter and table a report. So Sion told NTV that the matter is of a grave concern to the thousands of teachers who are members of the circle and could have serious implications. Silas Apollo, NTV.